Hi everyone, Linda here. It is time for Rolodex card 291. And I don't know if you saw my um, car Thanksgiving cards that I did for Raisin Boat the other day. Uh, oh, I just love this technique that I learned. And I found it on um, Split Coast Stampers. I thought, wow, geez, I wonder if... Uh, my Rolodex cards would pick up that alcohol ink, and it didn't really. It was kind of a muddy mess. So then this one, so then I just sprayed it. You know, I just took some Lindy's and sprayed it. And then I decided to cut some Rolodex cards with my Silhouette glossy cardstock, and this paper is from Raisin Boat too. Anyway, so I want to use that technique on a Rolodex card. Then, because I wanted it kind of framed out, I took one of the Rolodex cards that I cleaned up and I uh, took my frame. And, of course, you know, I just wanted to get the top part of it to see because that's going to be just a little bit different. And I'll be able to see the difference between the glossy paper and then just the flat paper. So when I get to that, I'm going to put that on there. So if you haven't seen that and you want to see this technique, then I'm going to show it to you. It's really a lot of fun. So this is going to be another um, card with a leaf, but I'm going to use this guy and this leaf together. And these are some stamps that I've had for a long time. Um, it says River City Rubber Works is the name of it. So... That's all I can tell you about that. Anyway, the nice part is you're going to use alcohol ink, and the nice part is you can use your chisel edge of your um, Copic markers. Now, some people have Stampin' Up! has alcohol markers. I'm sure there's other alcohol markers out there. And you're just going to scribble on your paper or on your... Oh, I didn't tell you the important part. You're going to take a Ziploc bag, and it's a good idea to tape it down and to put one of your cards underneath there so you know how big to color it, but I kind of got an idea. I feel comfortable enough to just go for it. And I have other cards I can wipe up, so. So I'm just putting some fall colors, some orange and yellow and green. I think I want to put some red in here too. And you can go over top what you did too. Doesn't matter. All right, so now that I've made a nice scribble, and oh, the girl that did the video did a great job. I can't remember what her name was, but it is Split Coast Stampers. Now, in this little mister, I have just regular alcohol. You could use blending solution. You could probably dribble um, the alcohol inks right on here and use a blending solution, or you could use the blending solution the you know for Copic markers but I'm just using regular old rubbing alcohol because that's what she used and you want to get this really wet until the you know colors kind of like run and bleed and you guys kind of know what that's all about so then you're going to take your Rolodex card or your glossy paper and lay it down and then you're going to see it kind of come through there a little bit I think that still looks pretty too. And then you lift it up and you've got this great background. Great, great, great. And if you think you have a spot that you do, I like these white marks, but if you think you have a spot that you don't, you want more of, you can go over it again. I'm going to see if I can get a couple of them. I'm just picking up the rest of this with it. Now I have three of them to choose from, to work with. Really a fun way to make backgrounds. All right, so now this becomes my little, it's almost like a jelly plate, you know, and you're using alcohol inks. That's kind of cool. And then you just wipe this off and you can use it a million times if you want. All right, so now I have to pick which one of these I want to use. So I inked it up with the, which one is this, Tangelo, and now I'm going to take this rhubarb stalk and I'm just going to apply some around it. The reason I'm doing it this way is because um, I don't want to get 
like edges. If I go like this, I won't get edges, but I don't want to get edges. So I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to want to cut out some of this leaf so that it's up in front. So I need to mark where that is. This is here. So I need to cut the leaf out to right there. And you'll see why. Because I want that to be above the frame. So I really, I love the way the colors in the background just bled into that. So I have the leaf up just a little bit. I'm going to put the frame in here. So I'll make sure I've got it cut right because I want the leaf over it. Let's see if I need to cut it anymore. Nope. All right. So then I'm going to put this on. I just want to create a little shadow here and I'm just trying to bring out the color to make the leaf pop off the page a little bit. So. Now, the hardest part is going to be putting his face on here because, you know, this is one of those stamps that um, I can't see through. So we're just going to put it on like that and hope that that's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you see his face in there? It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I probably should have put it down a little lower, but that's okay. And then the quote I have is from um, John Donnie. No spring nor summer beauty hath such grace as I have seen in one autumnal face. And it means autumn time face. So I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to use my little machine that I always forget. Thank you, Gina, for reminding me to use that. So I'm going to turn this off and get those things cut. Out. Just do a little bit of outlining around this. I would have stamped him in black um, so that he stood out just a little bit more. Maybe what I'll do is go over him with glossy accents and hope that that doesn't. Rich cocoa and just go around the edges with it. Keep my fingers out of the glossy accents if I can. There you have it. Rolodex card 291. No spring nor summer beauty hath such grace as I have seen in one autonomous face. John Donnie. Hope you like it. I had fun doing it.